and I'm back in the workshop because I really need to fix well not really fix but just swap the boards on an M Super Pro because the, the lights weren't working so we got a brand new board it's like a really easy quick fix <music> So first we're starting with the tools required for the job. So we need a five millimeter Allen key or, or a hex tool. And then we need a Phillips screwdriver or a, a screwdriver bit that can go onto the drill so we can do the uh, repair faster. And we need a Stanley knife. First we start by removing the foot plates using the uh, Allen key or, or hex screw, the five millimeter one. And when we remove them, then we can get the drill or the screwdriver and then we can undo all the screws to the side. Also keep in mind that you need to open up the right side of the machine, that's where the board usually is. When we open the wheel we want to unplug the battery and then uh, press on the power button so we can drain the voltage that's left in the motherboard. We don't want to have any current in the main board as we're uh, doing the swap because uh, we could uh, damage it. I'm using the Stanley knife because there's a lot of white goo uh, that it's all over the ports. So very gently I'm making cuts so that I can uh, pull the cables out of the sockets. And when we've removed all the cables, now we can unscrew the motherboard and take it out of the chassis. Unfortunately, the new blackboard is slightly bigger than the original, so that's why we need to uh, remove the fan unit and then we need to push it back uh, probably uh, a centimeter or half a centimeter, just, just slightly so that there is enough clearance for the fan and the little light board. When you're removing the fan unit further back, you can find that the side panel doesn't want to close off properly. That's because there's a plastic frame that's connected to the fan uh, and you might need to use maybe the Stanley knife just to cut at a slight angle at the very top of the fan frame. Usually the fan is just screwed in with two screws, but because we're moving it, um, there's a couple of holes that will appear. So that's why I'm just using some uh, black silicon so that I can seal off those holes so no water can uh, get through. And when we're done with filling the holes, then we can put back the fan and then put the motherboard with the four screws that are holding it. And making sure that everything fits now, we can secure the fan and then uh, screw the motherboard. Okay, now we need to put all the cables back together. Just a quick message, if you're looking for a helmet that's good quality and also affordable, definitely check out the Kali helmets that we have in stock. The Zoka is cheaper, while the, we also have like carbon fiber helmets which are more expensive, but obviously they're carbon fiber. And here we can see the wire diagram of the board uh, and that gives you some information which cable goes where. Most uh, Bigot slash Gotway unicycles, the connectors are color coded so you can easily trace which cable goes where. The red connector is the power button, the purple connector is the cutoff switch, the fan is in blue, the two headlights are yellow, the speakers are brown and etc. So using that diagram we're putting all the connectors back into the right place. And when all the connectors are in, then we can connect the power back on. And this is very key. You need to connect the battery and the motherboard immediately because uh, there is a, a, a little spark that appears when they connect. So you need to make it very quickly because if you take your time, you might burn the connectors. And we can see that the wheel power is on. There is the lights work, uh, it, it balances. So I'm gonna put the side cover back on and I'm just pressing it down. So I'm trying to apply even pressure on the side panel so that I can get all the screws in the right places. And when the side panel is installed, then I can also uh, put back the foot plate uh, and then call it a day. So this is basically how you swap the board on an M Super Pro. It's pretty straightforward as long as you have the right tools and you know which cable goes where. Thank you so much for watching this episode and definitely subscribe and like this video for more repair videos because we have more wheels that need to be fixed.